Denver Broncos Mile High View, no commercials, no bullshit. Well, looks like the Broncos finally did uh, to somebody else what's happened to them all season long. And uh, I couldn't really blame Phillip Rivers for going for or then their coaching staff for going for it on fourth down and 11 because, quite frankly, the Broncos just suck at bombs away football. Um, quite, and I, you know, this goes back to really even the Cleveland game, even though the Cleveland came up short. But all we've been seeing is is the Broncos defense get torched on big plays. Well, somebody on the Broncos, I guess Scandrillo, somebody was thinking, well, we got a quarterback with this arm. Let's just get it out there and see if somebody will be just as dumb as Yadam and make a make a penalty. And, of course, that's what happened. It was really dumb on that cornerback's uh, part because you're essentially just in a, in, a, in a track race. You know, you're just sprinting. You have a sprinting partner. And you're just sprinting down the field. That's all you're doing. Uh, but Locke, because he does have the arm strength, the corner does have to acknowledge in his mind that that ball could, you know, can be caught, can be thrown that far and caught. So that's the upside you get with Locke. Um, and, you know, we have to, you have to understand this, these are two uh, very bad football teams, the Chargers and the Broncos. But I just hope that when the Broncos face the Kansas City Chiefs in Kansas and if Locke doesn't perform to, you know, the, you know what they saw today, <clears throat> we don't have to listen to these chants about getting a quarterback and pressuring Elway to – get a bear which is ugh, just a wasted pick um i have to agree with uh idiot d mac um idiot d mac is uh, a staple in denver uh he he basically plays the part of the idiot fan and he's just an idiot <laughs> so i call him idiot d mac but <clears throat> he did have he did make a good point and the point was to go with Locke as a starter for in 2020 Build the team up. Get puts give give the a uh, quarterback a chance. There's so much. There's so much bad. That both lines need building on this team. I would really like to see Denver get another big time receiver. If you got a quarterback, if you got the quarterback with the arm, then why don't you uh, get another receiver out there? Uh, Hamilton again. A, a, Pounded the table to bench him. And that's what really sets um, winning organizations against losing organizations. They don't have sentimental value. You you choke in clutch situations, you're gone, man. And I've seen that too much from Hamilton. Uh, I'm not happy with Fant. And, uh, you know, you saw that he they pretty much benched him. You know, when you're – it's this was their first uh, their first three and out. Fan, you got to know where the marker is. You've got to know where the marker is. You can't come in and, and then get yourself caught up behind the marker. You know, you go out another three yards and, and you get an easy first down. You know, three yards, buddy. Come on. So, like I said, if this guy can't improve his football skills too, you may have to get rid of him. And I honestly believe that by the time this – organization actually becomes legit again the landscape is going to be so changed from what we see now you know i people were talking about positives oh the positives of last week's loss and it, quite frankly like i say i just see the the landscape so much different when this i mean it's going to be so long in my opinion before this team is really legit next year you think well, we got Locke, and that is unless Elway does something really stupid and puts Flacco back in, and, and that, you know, I understand that Locke is, is still, you know, inexperienced, but give him, you got a losing team, give the guy experience now, even if it's bad. I mean, give him, the, obviously they need a better offensive line, there's no doubt about that. Even the running game for the Broncos is really not that great because the, the, Offensive line isn't good. Also, the play calling hasn't been good. And it, <clears throat> both Chargers and uh, Broncos, but Broncos kept throwing to uh, 
in the flat to uh, running backs with no blocking. Of course that's going to go nowhere. And then uh, the first time the Chargers do that, throw it to the to the back with no blocking, of course they they get a loss. So anyway, it's just you, you got to come up with better play calling. You know, some kind of a, a screen pass or something, a bubble screen you can play on the Chargers a lot better than within Buffalo. You just don't uh, leave, uh, you know, just don't leave guys out there with no blocking. It's just stupid play calling. So, you know, do, do the Broncos go out and get a better offensive coordinator? Do they get the Ravens... Um, do they get the Ravens quarterback coach as an offensive coordinator? Just throwing it out there. You, you, you know, you, you chime in. You know, who's going to be available as an offensive coordinator? So, you know, I agree with idiot DMAC that <clears throat> you've got yourself a starting quarterback with Locke. At least work that out. And you got a backup quarterback, good backup quarterback with Allen. Start building the team. Can we get a left tackle that doesn't hold? I mean, can we get a defensive line that actually collapses the pocket? You know, I, I don't. The team, it's like a team in flux, in fluctuation. Let's get, let's get, let's build the roster. Get rid of the Hamiltons and start getting receivers that, you know. And here's another thing: is is how come we can't play? Um, how come we cannot play Philip Lindsay like the Chargers play Ekman or Eckelman? Ekman, Eckelman, Ekman. I just, I just don't understand it. So, you know, do we need to change offensive uh, coordinators next year? Just stick with Locke, and I'm sure Locke will throw more interceptions. You know, they're, they're, he's bound to do that. But, you know, just let him go through the growing pains and uh, let him get some experience and, and just give that a shot and start building a team around it that a quarterback can actually, that's quarterback friendly. Instead of the quarterback, having a quarterback bail a team out all the time, let's get, a, how about we put a team around that helps the quarterback out? Just Just putting it out there. <clears throat> 